Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Vein game, and there she is. And let's hope that she is going to go into that bottom lane, starting off with boots and potions, and um, accompanied here by Fizz Support. I've never seen a Fizz Support, to be honest. So, what can Fizz Support really do? Um, I have no clue. I don't really understand. Well, it it I guess it's just a shared lane then, and they are just going for the damage. So um, yeah, we have a defense on the blue buff. We have this guy just all alone here, and only one guy trying to uh, protect that blue for as far as that's necessary. Because uh, of course it isn't really necessary. There you go, getting the easy uh, camp, and he, ne he really needs to get a move on. But yeah, Maokai is really slow. So anyway, he is going for um, for the blue now, and Annie should really help him out. But Annie is not going to help him out, and he forgot that she was supposed to help him out. <laughs> anyway, we are going bottom lane, and we are going to have some fun here. Um, Vane over there, she is up against Miss Fortune, who is already there. We have Sona support, obviously. Uh, Rumble versus Jax in top lane, and then these should be the junglers and the mid laners. That should all be okay. Anyway, um, yeah, we are starting off with, um, uh, well, uh, of course, equal amount of uh, minions on everyone, except for Annie, who, uh, yeah, st stood t uh, near this blue buff a little bit too long. She she was kind of hesitant to uh, to start helping out, so she is starting off with a little bit of a deficit there, or rather a disadvantage, and the first blood, no problem. So both of them are pretty low, but yeah, you can see there was no focus by the enemies, and that's what results from that, and they're going to get a double kill here. Wow, that is um, an excellent, well, just start for them. And it seems that, um, yeah, top lane is pushing a little bit, mid lane is pushing a little bit, and um, yeah, we are pushing a little bit in the bottom lane. All should be okay for these guys. They should be able to uh, to pick up most of these minions. And misfortune, uh, yeah, calmly taking out the minions one by one. And unfortunately for her, she does miss a, c a couple, but um, that's all good. So we have this guy coming in for a gank, but yeah, why would you try to come in for a gank when the lane is so pushed? And. Um, yeah, I, I don't really understand that. Anyway, any for going for a level 2 in her Disintegrate, which is her Q. Which is the one where you get your mana back if you land the last hit. And that is your main source of damage for the early game in, uh, in lane. Because otherwise you're going to run out of mana way too early. So basically what you do, and these guys are standing on top of a ward. But, and they know that because they attacked it twice, but... Uh, the main thing you do uh, as any is just hit that Q on every last hit and then stay high mana and not harass too much if you can uh, because uh, harassment actually takes away quite a bit of mana and you won't have that available. Um, yeah, obviously at some point you can start the harassment but Annie not really doing a good job here. Missing all the minions because of those, uh, well, AoE skills or, well, that one AOE skill that she has and yeah let's let's go watch the top lane I forgot to actually watch it I did see it but they were all so low that I was like nobody's going to engage on that but they are going to engage they're going to get a kill here first and this is going to be the second kill well either way yeah I didn't really know who was going to die first but Yeah, you could see easily that um, that the Nocturne was never going to get out. So they take out a 2 for 1. Uh, Nocturne still gets the kill though. Because of his red buff, I'm assuming. 
And I don't really know... Yeah, he had a red buff because now this guy has a... No, 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 that's not a fresh red, red buff, so don't really know. But, um, yeah. I guess his red buff was lost because he killed the Jax and then Jax killed him. Something like that. Anyway, uh, we are just recalling here. Yeah, so um, Fizz alone for a little bit, but he should be fine. I mean, he's Fizz, man. He's a mid-champion. He can do very well against uh, two opponents. Especially if he already has a little bit of an advantage. And with two assists, he does have a little bit of an advantage. And... He is going to jump in here, uh, takes a wrong target though. Yeah, should have selected the support because he doesn't realize how low he is on uh, on gold. And um, he is going to get out though. So um, this is Misfortune versus Vayne. Vayne should win this easily. Yeah, but now she has to make it out. No, she... Oh, the uh, Ignite actually finishing off the kill there. Yeah, Vayne should have won that easily because she has that um, that condemn, and that condemn should allow you to stay um, well to stay healthy. And here is Maokai coming in for the gank once again. Oh, but it's not going to work. He doesn't have a flash. Oh, he does have a flash. What? You have a flash and you don't just flash grab this guy? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's how easy that kill was. And especially when they were in turret range. That was a pretty easy one. So, um, yeah, once again, getting the kill there. And this time, Jax actually gets out. So, um, and he's still doing crazy stuff. And bottom lane still being a farm fest. But they are doing a good job. Four kills on Vayne now. And wow, that was a nice amount of damage by them. And yeah, that's exactly what you need to do uh, do as Sona. Of course, um, yeah, it would be best if you uh, did that and well, keep do kept doing that. But uh, it seems that she kind of does it every now and then, but yeah, not very often. So Sona does not have a pink ward. She can't really afford pink ward. But this uh, Fizz is not going for the uh, well, the, the gold per ten build. He is just going straight up AP. Going for the normal build, just way uh, slower. And yeah, I'm not sure if that is a good choice because obviously it is. Wow, what what, what kind of ultimate was that? Really, seriously. No, oh, well. Whatever. Blah. Uh, I don't think Jax would have lost the kill anyway, so um, it didn't really matter. But it is kind of silly to see that. So the ultimate goes off, and yeah, just see that damage, man. The Fizz, of course, a really, really, really strong champion with his ultimate. And yeah, apparently even if he's not that fed, he, uh, he can do pretty well. <laughs> the stun goes off and actually nothing happens. So Fizz needs to run out. Yep, he is going to be fine, but that was pretty close. He did not have either his um, jump or his... Uh, um, hang on. His playful trickster thingy up. So, um, yeah, his gap closer or his jump, I should call it, probably. Because he has two jumps, technically. So, um, yeah, took him a little bit to get out, but he was still safe. Most of the damage done by the tower, of course. And the tower is really slow at, uh, at shooting. So, anyway, we have Jax going for another kill here. But, nope, just going for the little bit of damage and um, actually using his ultimate there. That is quite surprising. So, um, yeah. We will have to see how this actually works out now, because Annie now comes in for a gank. But, yeah, as you can see, we have this guy here as well. And, oh, two guys coming in. Annie! Watch it, dude! 
<laughs> and he saw them coming, but uh, didn't react at all. Um, yeah, that was never going to go anywhere. Obviously, obviously, Jax can pick up another kill here, but he's not going to. He's going to do the smart thing and just fall back to the next turret. These guys should understand that they have no chance of, um, yeah, of pushing him further, and they do understand that. So it is now two versus one. Jax is still here though, and they are going to do some damage, but both of them get out for now. Lots of damage. No, nobody finishes off the rumble. Nobody is going to finish off the rumble. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Anyway, are we done farming yet here? No, it seems not. We are uh, perfectly equal. And here in the mid lane, yeah, you can see the difference now. 50 minions difference. That is over 3 kills. So, um, yeah, definitely a big advantage there for Diana. And um, yeah, Diana really taking, well, a, a huge lead in that early game. Of course, the same goes for Maokai, who has double the minions. And um, is about two kills ahead of um, his opponent's, or the opponent jungler. And, well, three kills ahead already. So that makes a total of five then. That is a big, big advantage. So um, here it's about a 15 minion difference, which is one kill. And that makes them exactly equal in gold. Here you can see it. The gold values. That was pretty close. I mean, I said exactly equal, but yeah, there's about a hundred gold difference between them. So, I, I call that pretty close. It's a good estimator to, uh, to say that 15 minions is a kill. Because it depends a little bit on the amount of... Um, of small minions and big minions and such. And also the, the worth of the kills, but yeah, all in all, it's a, it's a good estimate to say that, well, 15 minions is a kill. So yeah, top, uh, sorry, mid lane turret uh, went down, I'm assuming that was mid lane turret. Yeah, it was mid lane turret. Hang on, we have to see how Eddie died this time, because, oh, she just came in from the side. Yeah, that's what I thought, but Annie has not been playing Annie. She has been playing Maokai or something like that. She's just running in everywhere, forgetting to take minions, just using AoE skills on the minions while they are in turret range. All kinds of not good plays, and um, yeah, especially because Annie is so well known for using that Q. And oh, the... The kill on Vayne, but actually Vayne did get her condemn off. And that means that um, they actually pick up one kill and don't lose the fizz. Because, well, with that uh, that stun, the misfortune was kind of knocked out for a little bit. And, um... Oh, can he make it? Oh, the flash saves her. Wow, yeah, nobody's going to be the in, there, in that range for a long, long time. And let's see this mid lane. This mid lane should actually really work pretty easily for the red team here. It should be no problem. And... Yeah, the jungler is really doing a good job of keeping his jungle clear. Um, Vayne picking up this camp because, well, she doesn't want to push the lane too much when she's all alone and yeah even though there are two wards out they're still losing the lane on um, on the red team because well they're just getting killed all the time I mean they gave away eight kills already and um, one of them went to the jungler I think yeah must have been must have been but yeah eight kills already by uh, or eight deaths already by the red team's uh, bottom laners. And yes, there is a uh, ward there. They do see it. And yeah, they're going to find this other one as well. No? No. It was out of range. So yeah, it supports uh, Fizz with an Oracles. And that is... Uh, it's aggressive. But it is good. It is good. 
Come on! Feeding time! Oh, the feeding time did go down, but it was not good enough. It didn't latch on to anybody. No, Vin! Okay, Maokai is going to pick up the kill then. Yeah, there you go. Getting an easy kill. And come on, three versus two. We can win this. Yeah, there's Fizz. Fizz is going to finish this off. And, and he's not going to do anything. There you go. But he did use his um, uh, his jump there. So Annie will have to man up and kill him. But it is... Wow. Yeah. It, oh, man. That Jax. That was it. The Jax actually saved the situation. Because Annie could not make it work. And Fizz really needs to recall here. While in the protection of his teammates. No! And yes, they do need to fight that. Uh, but yeah, Jax is here and Jax is going to own this dude. Oh, the slow. This time the slow is good. And he actually makes it out. Oh! No, she didn't hit. Wow, that was close. Because if that, if that hits... It would have been a sure kill. That that wouldn't have been a problem at all for Diana. Because Diana is a monster. <sighs> so Jax is also a monster. So he is going to help out in this bottom lane. And come on, jump. Oh, no, 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 no. Couldn't make it work. But he does get out. So that's good. And Miss Fortune is going to slow them. Oh, a nice flash. And that was exactly what he needed. And a nice stun, yes! Oh my god, she does get a kill, but a very nice stun. Unfortunately, yeah, the Vayne gets killed, but she does land a double kill here with the bait. Um, yeah, and, well, kind of the execution, I guess, of that bait. Um, yeah, very nice stun. Uh, yeah, it, it was just like... They gave her a millisecond to kind of regroup and uh, and cast that AOE skill. But very, very nicely done. And yeah, especially just the, the nice stun. That was all they needed. And yeah, all in all, a very good amount of teamwork on this team. And I don't know if anyone is on Skype with, uh, with each other, but... Yeah, this is it's, it's just very good teamwork in general. And you see that if you have good teamwork and you actually group up at the right times, that you can do quite a lot. And Fizz, yeah, he has to remember he is a support. And yeah, I think Diana just realized that. Like, uh, dude, he's the support. I can easily kill him. Because he has two kills and 26 minions, but uh, Diana has 125 <laughs> Uh, and zero kills, but... Um, hang on, where did he get executed? Oh, he ran back, wow. Oh my god, that was so close. That was excellently done then. Because that was so close to the Jax at the complete run. But yeah, well... Jack's not a ranged champion, obviously. He's going to uh, have some trouble catching up with someone like that. Although I did kind of wonder whether he had, uh, yeah, for example, Ignite up. Because Ignite would have landed him a kill if that was up. Yeah, you can rewind to see if that was actually up. But he was definitely close enough to put on an Ignite or an Exhaust or whatever. Oh... Close, close, he's going to die, yeah. So, yeah, a little bit of a silly engage there from Fizz, but yeah, well, he's been playing a good game for the rest, so. Yeah. We all make mistakes, I guess. So, the red team gets the dragon to get into uh, the same amount of gold again, because, well, they were behind, but yeah, with a thousand gold extra. That, of course, uh, changes. Also, their minions are a lot better. They have two guys over 100. And, um, uh, yeah, 
these two guys are the same as these two guys basically but yeah this Annie is just very very low on minions and although Fizz has 30 minions so that's uh, that's also pretty good it's not uh, it's not huge but it does make up for some of the minions that uh, Annie lost and we are just all over the place here a little bit at least uh, with the red team the blue team is just uh, doing what they can to uh, to push the lanes and hold the mid lane and we are going to see if this uh, results in, in a fight but well, we'll see oh, a little bit of poking from Jax but nothing major then the feeding time goes off and there you go no I thought Jax could jump on him but that was not going to work there you go now we jumped on him and no run out run out of turret range dudes it's not good yeah they took way too much damage they should just kill this tower and uh, then kill the minions so yeah obviously that was an easy tower because it was already down and um, yeah we are going to mid lane where a big fight is breaking out and once again the Annie gets killed so yeah we do grab the kill back but Vayne really low and gets killed but are they going to be able to do anything with this oh my god the Fizz just couldn't reach Fizz used all of his abilities to get into this fight and didn't have any left to actually fight so that was kind of unfortunate it is a 3 for 2 for the red team and they are well still pretty much equal in gold now so it does seem that uh, the minions are really saving the red team for now that is for now because um, yeah they are they have been behind in kills pretty much the entire game and uh, we're going to have to see if uh, the blue team can actually pick up enough minions and that includes dragons and barons um, yeah they uh, we'll, we'll see if they can actually make it work of course the one extra turret they have it also helps out because turrets are worth 750 gold which is uh, a pretty big deal so yeah we have the Jax here in a little bit of trouble. Is he going to be able to move out? Oh, the ultimate from uh, from Rumble. And uh, nice. Yeah, he jumps to Annie. And Rumble apparently didn't want to uh, have anything to do with Annie. I would have said, well, just go for it. But nope. I mean, he could have probably taken that out. Not actually sure. Annie is not very strong. And he has nothing, uh, only mana, and uh, doesn't even have that much HP. Uh, AP, sorry. She has um, 30 ability power from this and 25 from this, and that's it. She doesn't have half anything else. Oh! Oh, she almost got killed by that ultimate, but not entirely, and that is not good enough. Because almost killing someone, it does not mean anything. And, oh, is the rest going to get out? No, Vayne, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, they should have just backed out. They were safe. Oh, my God. The double up landing a double kill and that was just insane I don't think I've ever seen that happen uh, I mean I've seen double uh, double up hit and kill someone sure but not like this not a double kill with two champions that should have been out of the fight yeah anyway <laughs> wow uh, flabbergasted by that let's just um, continue on so dragon is up and uh, the blue team is going to take it out this time or at least attempt to they do get it 
And the red team seriously engaging now. But people will have to focus. Yeah, they are focusing two guys down. And um, finally one of them goes down. One of the blue teamers. But only Fizz goes down. Which is the support. And that is the least, well, of their worries. No, the, the least worrisome to go down. Um, yeah, really. If you only lose the support in a fight like that, uh, and you get three kills back for that, and a dragon, that's a good trait. Because you really don't use uh, lose any uh, pushing power. You just lose a little bit of gold from your team kind of total pressure, I guess. From the team pressure. I mean the, the gold that is invested in items, because... Um, if you lose like your carry, which is in this case the Maokai for some reason. Um, yeah, if you lose Maokai here, then you lose a big chunk of gold, in this case uh, 11,000 gold. Uh, or if you lose Vayne, you lose about 10,000 gold. And on the other side, uh, if you lose Misfortune, you would lose 10,000 gold from your team pressure. So that is gold just invested in items which is kind of what your champions net worth is and if you lose the support then you would lose 6.8 or 6.4 thousand which is not a whole lot by the way this guy is ahead because he has two gold items um, that one kill uh, doesn't really make up for anything because well there are four more assists so they're pretty much equal well um, Fizz should be ahead but Fizz didn't buy any gold items, so um, no gold uh, generation, and that means that he is going to be behind on that. And oh, the stun goes down from Annie, and is she going to be able to finish off anyone? Yeah, they are going to grab three kills here. Wow, that's actually quite good. Triple? Yeah. And this might be the Quadra, depending on whether she can actually reach. There you go. Very nicely done. So, um, yeah, it seems that uh, one guy already got killed somewhere else by someone else. And she didn't get the Penta. Unfortunate, but yeah, well. It's still uh, an ace for, once again, the support. Yeah, Fizz has been really aggressive, which is nice. I mean, he is a very aggressive support if he wants to be a support. Uh, because all he can do is do damage. He can't really heal. He can't um, He can't do anything. He can, he can bait, I guess. But, yeah, he needs to be very aggressive to do damage, to be helpful for his team. So, yeah, he will die in team fights, but that's okay. That is okay. Dude, don't steal away gold from your support. He needs that. <sighs> Anyhow. Uh, by the way, it, uh, the items from Fizz still add more to the game than the items from um, Sona. Because she has those two gold items. Well, she transformed one of them, uh, one of them in the Shredder's Reverie, I guess. But... Because she um, she had those two gold items, uh, she got some extra gold, but that gold doesn't necessarily mean that she's actually ahead. Because, well, those gold items don't really add anything to, uh, uh, to your stats. They add a little bit to your stats, but they're not like the greatest things ever to have um, stat-wise. They're great for supports, though. So anyhow, um, yeah, we are just um, playing along here, uh, just pushing mid lane. It seems that two of them are going for that blue buff. Why does he need a blue buff? He doesn't use energy. All he needs it for is the cooldown reduction. And yeah, that is not a major issue on, uh, on Rumble. But hey, whatever. If you want to have it, then feel free to take it. Obviously, he wants to, uh, or, or he partially just took it to prevent the enemy team from getting it. And the Sona, oh, no, she's just going to ward. I thought she might go for the enemy blue buff. That would have been easy to get. And she should be able to get that. And once again, that would, uh, yeah, take it away from the blue team. 
And that would be good. So, another double kill. So she has had the last, wow, the last seven kills are hers. And Quadra, oh man, are we going for it? Come on. Yes, very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. And yeah, that's the way it goes. Oh, the surrender comes in immediately. So, um, yeah, that was excellent play. Uh, the first quarter kill actually sealed the deal already. And this pentakill definitely sealed it. So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing that the enemy team gave up and doesn't let us play for another, like, 10 minutes to actually finish the game. But, um, uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG!